In the highly competitive world we live in today, it is absolutely vital that industry, academia, and the government itself be at the leading edge of R&D. This is a whole new era of computing smart systems. We're starting to see it today because IBM recently had this breakthrough on Watson, which is a system that was incredibly innovative, and it sort of conquered the artificial intelligence barriers that we've been facing. Imagine having systems now that can go another step and self-tune so that you can accelerate yourself by a factor of 10 or 100 and start to tackle incredibly complex problems of big data today that are insurmountable. Modeling the brain, modeling the global climate in one shot. These sort of massive undertakings that were inconceivable 10 years ago are quite conceivable in this new era, but it requires a tremendous amount of investment in research and development. This area of expertise is actually incredibly strong in Canada. There is a lot of very innovative things we can do around emerging topics such as big data. If you think about what's gone on, for instance, the Hospital for Sick Children, we did a project called Data Baby. What it amounts to is in a premature infant with a very, very uh, poorly developed or underdeveloped immune system. The problem is the first sign of their being ill is their body is being overwhelmed by an infection. By acquiring massive amounts of data over the course of a time that we study children, thousands of data points a second when we crawl through that deep amount of data, we can actually see the early warning signs of sepsis. And by doing so, we can treat that child before it's obvious to a practitioner that there's a problem. The challenges our future generations face are tremendous. There are challenges of energy availability. There are challenges of food availability. There are challenges of transportation. Look at some of the cities that are locked in gridlock today. And remember, the number of vehicles may double or quadruple in the next 10 years. The complexities of dealing with society have gone beyond what a human can do themselves. Basically, society is now a deeply engaged system of systems. What we're talking about doing here is improving not just the quality of life, but the efficiency with which we provide it, which frees up resources to do other things in society. It's an incredibly virtuous cycle, and to remain competitive in modern society, you have to invest. If you don't make these investments, you will not, in the long term, survive in the global marketplace of today.